Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Santos, if you're new, and if you're not new, hey, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Today's video is a really basic one. It's just a monthly favorites. I haven't done this in months, but it'll probably be one of the last four videos on my channel because I'm a flop. Anyways, I just wanted to do one. So this is going to be my March favorites. Um, what I like to call this channel, or what I used to call them, shit that was lit in the month of March. Sorry for the profanity. Trust me, there's some worse words I could say, but yeah. I'm just gonna get into it and show you my favorites of March. So, my first favorite of the month is a high-end product, and I've been using it for a couple of months, but I just, I cannot do my makeup without this product, and this is a blush. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Blush in the shade The Climax. Why does everyone name blushes such provocative names like orgasm, deep throat from NARS, and now the climax, and plus it kind of looks like a boob. <laughs> but let me tell you, this is my favorite blush. I like blushes like this that are very bronzy, but still like a touch of pink, cause, cause it goes with every single makeup look, plus it's very neutral, I can wear it every day, and it wears so beautifully throughout the day. That's kind of like the blush tones I have going on. You can definitely see it more on this cheek right over here, but it blends beautifully. It's nice. I like to like, here, let me show you. So I like to just swirl it around, pop it in the center. That's kind of what it's made for. And then just sweep it on, just put a little bit of color. And honestly, it does last pretty well throughout the day. It's not chunky, it's not too much pigmentation, and then it's not enough pigmentation. It's just really nice. And usually blushes, especially powder blushes, are the first thing that fade off throughout the day, and I can say this one is really good. So this shit, this shit was lit, even though it's a lot of money. I use it every day so I can justify that. Next favorite of the month is a foundation, and it's the new drugstore L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. So I'm in the shade 420. I like it because it's medium to full, I'd say. I want to be like a full coverage foundation. I like to apply this with a wet beauty sponge. It's just like the name Fresh, like a fresh wear foundation. It's not matte, it's not really dewy, it's a nice in between. I like the undertone of this foundation, but here's the thing. I like it on its own, it's not bad, but I have a problem. I like to mix it with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Now this is the most expensive foundation I own, and sadly, it is my favorite one. And not on its own. I don't like this foundation by itself, and I've said this in multiple other favorite videos, but every time I mix this into any other foundation, it makes that foundation so much better. It makes the foundation go on smooth, like no texture at all, and it makes it the perfect color. I'm in the shade six in the Giorgio Armani, and I've never been able to find a foundation that has the right undertone. Even though this is way too dark for me right now, if I just put like a dash of it, like a little dot in this foundation, it changes the color and it makes it the right undertone and shade for me. So I've been really liking this. I think if you're looking for a new drugstore foundation that's not matte, but not dewy, just kind of in between and looks fresh. I'd give this one a go, but I really like it mixed with this. I just have to say that just because that's what I'm wearing on my face and I've been getting a lot of compliments when I mix these two both. Onto my next favorite of March is the Hylou B5 Hydration Serum from La Roche-Posay. So this is skincare obviously, and this one has hyaluronic acid and B5 complex to hydrate the skin. It's supposed to be anti-aging, giving you that hydration, even a glow to the skin. And honestly, I can see why it does that. So I used this all last summer when I was on vacation because I packed this for some reason because I bought it randomly at work. And I remember applying this on my skin when I had a couple sunburns and it made my skin feel hydrated again and really just cooled down the burn and soothed it. And then I forgot about it. Like I just didn't, you know, I don't know what happened to it. And then I found it again in my sock drawer in the beginning of March. So I started to use it again in my routine. I would put my moisturizer on and then I would put this on as like another moisturizer. And I'm telling you right now, my skin has not felt so plump, so hydrated and fresh since I've been using this. And plus, the smell is amazing. If you're looking for a hydration serum, I recommend this one. I know serums can go up to like hundreds of dollars. This one is $49. La Roche-Posay is a brand that you don't hear about at all on YouTube. I think it's so underrated. And honestly, they have a lot of my favorite skincare products in their line, so. I think that if you have dry skin, especially like me, because it's winter time, well, we're turning into spring in Canada, but we still get snow in the beginning of May here, so I'm gonna keep holding on to this. This bottle's pretty much empty. I'm already on my second one, and I just, 
I love this. Like if I had to have one product in my skincare routine to keep, it would be this. So this shit, this Hylou B5 serum from La Roche-Posay, this shit is lit, okay? Now my next favorite is a makeup product and it is, it's actually one that's really hyped and talked about on YouTube and just in general and it's been around for a while and it is the Estee Lauder Heat Wave Highlighter. Anyways, the smell of this highlighter reminds me of my aunt's house. I don't know why. It could be because growing up, she, I always remember her using Estee Lauder products, so that's probably why, but I love it. It just smells like sweet, like hair care products. I don't know, but like in a good way. Everyone's talked about this highlighter before. This is it on my finger. It just gives like a wet, glowy look to your cheeks. I'm not wearing it right now, but it just like, gives that glow and that shine. I could wear this now on my cheeks. Actually, I'm gonna apply a little bit, just so you can see. This highlighter, it just gives like the right, like that's it right there, right there. See that glow? It just gives like that perfect amount of glow. It is pretty gold, so I'd say if you're very fair, you might not like this on you, but in the summer, honestly, like I know this will be my go-to highlighter. I just love it. I love the formula. It's like a gel kind of texture. So this shit and this shit was lit. I probably just broke that. So my next favorite for March is the Bum Bum Cream, the from Sol de Janeiro, Brazilian, eh? I'm Portuguese, it's not really the same thing, but we speak the same language, except Brazilian Portuguese is completely different from regular like mainland speaking Portuguese. Both beautiful languages, just different. But anyways, off my tangent, this cream, I've used a lot of it. This is not the full size cream, I just wanted to try it out, but I'm definitely going to be repurchasing the big size just because the smell of this cream number one, everyone talks about the smell, but it is really good. There's a hint of vanilla, definitely. Caramel, caramel and vanilla, and a little pistachio slash like coffee, like a dash of coffee. It just smells so good, sweet and smooth. It's a very sweet, smooth scent. Nothing like very sweet, like overly sweet, more like a like a cake, baked good, toffee, smooth sweetness, I don't know. But anyways, I like this product because recently I haven't been working out too much and when you don't work out a lot and you eat a lot of sugar, you get cellulite. And there's just a lot of cellulite forming so I wanted to grab something in the meantime to kind of help firm the skin, tighten, lift everything. And I heard a lot of good things about this product specifically. So this cream has Gurana, I cannot say it for my life. I, because I know you're supposed to say it with an accent, but I cannot say it. Gurana, ga, garuana, gar, garuana extract. I'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. But apparently, this has more caffeine in it than a regular coffee bean. This type of bean extract in here. If you don't know, cellulite to treat it. A lot of creams and gels that you put on the body have a lot of caffeine in it, just because it really helps to control like and break down the sugar in the skin. I guess all the sugar that's trapped which forms into cellulite. So I've been trying this out myself and I absolutely love it. I love the way it hydrates my skin and definitely like when I was wearing this for a week consistently, I saw my cellulite kind of start to smooth out. It's not gonna cure everything but it's definitely something that I've been using just to kind of help. I don't have the most cellulite in the world but it's definitely starting to get there because I really like gummies. I love eating sour gummies. If it's sour rainbow belts, if it's like sour Coke bottles, cherries, gummy worms, gummy bears, like gummies, I love them. Yeah, I love them. But they cost cellulite, so this shit, the Brazilian bum bum cream, this shit's lit. And also, I don't just put it on like my buttocks and like the thigh area. I put it on my chest, my arms, my knees, my elbows, up on the decollete, everywhere. I just coat myself with this, so. So my next product for the month of March is an odd one, but it's not odd to me, but I think some people find it odd, and it is sunscreen. A lot of people kind of neglect wearing sunscreen on their face depending your climate. If you live in a place with a lot of heat and sun, you're probably wearing sunscreen, but maybe you forget, right? Where I live, we get 20 centimeters of snow. 
Now, March hasn't been the worst, but it's still been not the best. I recently got dermaplaned. I have a video of it up on my channel. I'll link it up somewhere if you wanna see, but when you do dermaplaning or any treatments like that, it makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. So I've been using the La Roche-Posay, see another La Roche-Posay product. They have amazing sunscreen as well, their whole line. I'm not plugging them, I'm not sponsored, anything. I just, I effing love their products, but if you ever want to, La Roche-Posay. I'm your girl. But anyways, this sunscreen is the Anti-Brilliance Anthelios XL Dry Touch Gel Cream. Now I've been using more sunscreen even though it's been winter in Canada. If you live in a warmer climate where there's sun and heat, obviously sunscreen is probably more common for you to use. But in the winter, no one thinks to put sunscreen on, oh, because it's not summer. You know, there's not sun rays and heat, even though the sun is still out. I used this all last summer, but I forgot how good of a sunscreen this one is. It's a dry touch, so that means if you have more oily skin, it's not gonna leave that thick layer of grease that sometimes sunscreens can have. It's not gonna clog your pores. It just feels really good to, into the skin and just disappears. Like it's just a dry touch and it's nice because it's a SPF 60. Now I don't have oily skin, but I have a friend who does and she absolutely loves this stuff because it's hard for her to find sunscreens or even wanna wear them just because it makes your skin even more oily and even more greasy. This sunscreen, even though it's a dry touch won't dry you out so if you do have dry skin you could wear this one you're just not gonna feel that layer of greasy juicy sunscreen and why I really like it too is it wears really nicely under makeup so in the morning when I'm doing my skincare I'll throw my SPF on and then I'll throw on my makeup it doesn't reject my makeup or it doesn't make my makeup turn very cakey or just kind of separates so this is another favorite for March if you're looking for a good face sunscreen I recommend Summer is almost around the corner, or maybe where you live, it already is kind of like summer. So the next product for March is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Now this came out pretty recently and I've been using it for the last, I'd say, two weeks. So like I said, I have more normal to dry of a, of a skin type and I use this after I've done all my skincare, spray it all over my face and it just seals in that moisture. My skin feels so like supple, especially this with the Hylou B5 mixed together. It's any dry skin's dream or even normal skin and you just want that extra bit of hydration. I love this and the best part about this product, especially in this packaging, I'm someone who loses caps, okay? If you look at all my hairspray bottles, if you look at all my, like some of my skincare bottles or my foundation tops, I don't have the top anymore. This one, I actually found it underneath my bed, so <laughs> that was good. This one, you can't because if you lose the top to this, you can't, you can't set it down. It's just gonna fall. So subconsciously, I always put on the lid and keep the lid with me. So I love the packaging. It just keeps everything more organized, even for someone like me who's not very organized. And also the mist of this spray is so fine. They kind of describe it as a fog mist. I don't know if you can see that. I'll even, I don't really usually set my makeup with this, so I just spray this on and it makes the skin look glowy and fresh again. Like instantly, I look a little bit more dewy and I love that. But because of the fog mist, it doesn't really hit your face with too much liquid. Like I know there's some setting sprays that kind of go out in spurts and they leave little dots all over the face and they don't dry very well. So this one just kind of evenly coats it without it feeling very noticeable on the skin. I love this. It has hyaluronic acid, which my skin loves. So this shit, this shit was lit and I'll definitely be repurchasing this. So the last favorite of mine for the month of March is another skincare item. I think I've been really into skincare more than makeup, but that's kind of starting to change because I've been diving into a lot of makeup now since starting to make more videos and actually upload again. But anyways, for skincare, another serum I've been using this month is from Aven. It's a French brand, really nice. It's very good for sensitive and reactive skin. Very minimal kind of ingredients, a lot of thermal water in their products. And I think they were the first brand to create a thermal water. Don't ask me, it's from work. I'm just supposed to know these things. But this product is the Aven A Oxidative Antioxidant Defense Serum. Antioxidant Defense Serum, there we go. This is supposed to be for all skin types. And why I like it is it's an antioxidant serum. So let me break it down. There's a lot of pollution in the air 
that attaches itself onto our skin and can damage it, it ages it, it makes our skin dirty, clogs the pores, and this serum is kind of supposed to make a wall. It defends your skin from all those nasty pollutions with antioxidants. I like this because recently at work, my coworker, she used this um, microscope that we have in our skincare section just to look at my skin, look at the deeper levels of it, um, it, it really goes in there and shows you everything. And right, especially above my eyebrows and on the cheeks, I had a lot of black speckles. And those black speckles are pollution. I'll put a picture up on the screen. It kind of looks disgusting. That's not my skin, it's just what pollution on the skin looks like in general. But since I saw that, I needed something to treat it because you don't really think about these skin issues when you know you're cleansing, you're moisturizing, you're toning, you're doing whatever you do, regardless if that's one step in your routine or maybe 10 like me. But I really just want to start taking care of my skin in that aspect. So I've been using this and I use the magnifier thing, the microscope, and I found that the dots are still there, but they've kind of decreased and they're not going into my skin, so I'm protecting it from the pollution. And it's a really nice product. And you don't see too many like antioxidant, anti-pollution serums on the market, so this is really good. And also another thing that helps with pollution is wearing makeup surprisingly. When you're filling up your face with like primers and like foundations, and you're making a layer between your skin, the foundation, and the air, it's the pollution attaches itself onto your makeup more so than going into your skin. So it kind of acts like a barrier, right? That's why I've always heard like this kind of thing about women wearing makeup in factories because it gets really dirty in those places. Pollution, stuff coming from the machines, naturally, a job's a job, you do what you gotta do, but it can really clog your pores in that environment. So definitely if you're wearing makeup, that helps and just using antioxidant skincare. So that is it for all my favorites of March. I know I get rambly with some of my stuff, but I feel like I like when people tell me stuff about skincare or when, when I get educated about skincare issues and just skincare itself. Because honestly, in my opinion, if you don't have good skincare, you can't have the best makeup. You know what I mean? And that doesn't mean you have to have flawless skin. Just taking care of it, cleansing, moisturizing, your skin just lays better, you know? And also, you want to protect your skin regardless if it's for looks wise, but also against skin cancer by using sunscreen and also protecting it from pollution now. I don't know. I'm sorry. I go on my tangents. I just want to let you guys know and take care of your skin and do what you can because you only got one skin to live in, okay? Just saying. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And like always, remember, sub it if you love it. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Today's video is, Riley, sit down, please. I'm just talking to my dog. Thank you, sir. So I'm in the shade. Oh, my dog's about to bark. Why did I close the door? There you go. Oh, did you miss Riley barking? Probably not. Shh, sir. Um. So, and my next favorite for the, so my next, my lips look uneven, just like my life, so disorganized. Whee okay, I'm gonna start this video, guys. Just kidding, I have to do my intro. And usually, and usually, uh, I can't speak up. I'm just gonna make this one short. I go on tangents, and then no one cares, Kim. Riley, please shut up. What was I doing? Which one was I doing? Shit, I forgot. Okay, that's good. Thank you.